How to convert mixed number to improper fraction and vice versa. So let's say we have this mixed number, 4 and 3 fifths, and we want to know its improper fraction form. So the mixed number and its equivalent improper fraction has always the same denominator. So this is equal to, so we will put the denominator because we are always sure that they all have the same denominator. So now, how to find the numerator of our improper fraction? To find that, we multiply the denominator by the whole number, 5 times 4, and then their product, we will add that to the numerator. So 5 times 4 is 20 plus 3. The answer is 23. That means the improper fraction form of 4 and 3 fifths is 23 over 5. Let's have another example. 3 and 1 thirds. And we want to know its improper fraction form. So let us copy the denominator and then find the numerator. So 3 times 3 is 9 plus 1, that's 10. So 3 and 1 third is equal to 10 thirds. Another one, 5 and 4 ninths. So this is equal to, copy the denominator, 9, and then solve for the numerator. 9 times 5 is 45, plus 4, it will be 49. So 5 and 4 ninths is equal to 49 over 9. Now how about changing improper to mixed? So let's say we have 21 fourths. So let's copy first its denominator. And we will find the whole number and the numerator. So to do that, we will divide 21 by 4. So it will be... 5 because 5 times 4 is 20 and that's the closest to 21 and then subtract so the difference is 1 so this one will be or the, or the remainder will be your numerator and 5 which is your quotient will be your whole number so 21 over 4 is equal to 5 and 1 fourths Let's take another example. 18 fifths. Let's find its mixed form. So let us copy the denominator 5 and then divide 18 divided by 5. So it will be 3 because 3 times 5 is 15. And that is the closest. So 18 minus 15, it will be 3. So the remainder 3 will be the numerator and the quotient 3 will be the whole number. So 18 fifths is equal to 3 and 3 fifths. How about this? 15 halves. So this is equal to copy the denominator 2 and then divide 15 by 2. So this will be 7. Because 7 times 2 is 14, and that's the closest to 15. Then subtract 15 minus 14 is 1. So the remainder is 1, and the quotient is 7. So the remainder will be your numerator, and the quotient will be your whole number. So that means 15 halves is equal to 7 and 1 half. Thanks for watching and I hope you have learned from this video. Please support my channel by pressing the subscribe button and also write the math topics you want to learn on the comment section.